So I oftentimes try to start off with atheism and agnosticism uh, to discuss them because I think the most important thing or the groundbreaking thing is to teach people about God and the existence of God. An atheist or atheism suggests that they don't believe that God exists, right? And that would also suggest that life can come from nothing and that we do not have any purpose and that this universe came about without a creator. In order to articulate this in the shortest amount of time I can, I would first say that anything that comes into being has to have something to start it or to create it, right? And begin this system. So the universe is 13.8 billion years ago. Before that, it did not exist. It was non-existent. There are all kinds of theories and string theories and all those things. But from the Big Bang Theory, we find that going back 13.8 billion years ago, there was nothing and then there was something. Whatever it was that created it was a personal cause, meaning a cause that was not inside of the mechanical system of this universe. So it was something outside of it that created it and, be and caused it to expand. Okay? So therefore, that personal being, that personal cause also has free will, which means it is a being that can decide when to create something or when not to. So there, explicitly, there is a creator. There is a first cause. There is a cause. There is a creator who created creation. A first cause who created cause and effect. Now also, everything to just to just to um, suggest or to show that people have a purpose and everything has a purpose but I'm just to show you that people have a purpose your nose has a purpose to breathe right your mouth has a purpose to breathe and to eat food your teeth has a purpose to break down the food so it can go into your stomach and it's digested your fingers your hands all have a purpose right not a function this is one I want you to understand. It has a purpose, meaning someone, some being gave it a purpose. Purpose means it is an intended function of that thing. So you can, a function can be anything. I can use my phone to function as a rock to throw at someone's head, but the purpose of it is to call other people. So this hand has a purpose. This heart has a purpose. My brain has a purpose. All of things have a purpose, which means human beings have a purpose. One other thing that I wanted to mention, and again, you can find the evidence to uh, expand upon what I'm saying, is that Noam Chomsky said that human beings are pre-programmed to understand language. Now, this man is a linguist. He's also a professor emeritus. He said not only are we pre-programmed to learn language, we are also pre-programmed to learn to have morals. Pre-programming would suggest and in fact uh, demand that there is someone who did the programming. Again, it is untenable to be an atheist or to be even ag agnostic. To believe that there's a possibility that there's no creator would suggest that we don't have a purpose, that all the things that I just articulated, my hand, my, my nose, my eyes, my mouth, all these things don't really have purpose, but we know they do. The reason they have purpose, the reason that we are, re are programmed like a computer is because there is something outside of this system. The reason we have a universe completely is because there's something outside of this system that created all of us. So there is no doubt that a creator exists. 